Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do a deep dive into some of the new things that have come out from Unearthly Cosmetics in the past. I want to say month or something like that. I have highlighters, I have glosses, I have five different eyeshadow palettes. We're going to go through all of them. I'm going to swatch them. I'm going to let you know my thoughts about them. And then we're going to be using the newest one of them, which is the Don't Be Jelly, which I got my hands on this very week. So I am so excited to be diving in. If you haven't been here before, do consider subscribing because I do upload quite a lot of videos every week all about makeup and beauty and especially indie brands. <laughs> And yes, my voice is still recovering from losing my voice this week. In the beginning of the week, I think I lost it on like, I woke up on Tuesday morning not being able to talk because I've been in Charleston with friends having a girl's trip and I did edit the vlog and that vlog is going up tomorrow on my vlog channel. So if you are interested in that, that's going to be on my vlog channel. It's always linked down below together with all the things that I'm going to be talking about, my other socials and all of that. And I'm just super, super excited. So I, I, I really, really wanted to film today, even though I know my voice sounds a little, like I said before, a little bit like a broken bird, but it's okay because I am so thrilled to be diving into this. I have gotten some of these things in PR and some of them I bought myself, so I will be letting you know which is which when we go through them. I do have a code with Unearthly Cosmetics, which is Anjeshka, and you can save 10% when purchasing from the brand. And I'm getting this up the day that I'm filming this. So I'm filming this on a Sunday and it's going up on Sunday because I'm just, I, I want to show you now and I want to play and I want to have fun. And it's a rainy day in Austin and I I just want to play with makeup. Also letting you know that there will be another Unearthly video coming next week. I'm thinking Thursday, there will be another video with Unearthly Cosmetics in case you love the brand as much as I do. So let's start with the Don't Be Jelly palette then. I will say Unearthly Cosmetics have done a little bit of an overhaul the last six months. They've changed the logo of the brand and all, look at how beautiful this packaging is. They've changed the logo and now all the uh, eyeshadow palettes are getting a, a little bit of an overhaul so they will have the same size square packaging. They are reformulating the shimmers and that's why some of these are uh, a little bit different. So the shimmers are easier to pick up, but the colors are the same, the mattes are the same. It's just the packaging that's getting a little bit more streamlined and some of the shimmers are being reformulated to be even easier to pick up. And now they also come in this super, super protective little gift box. I, I saved so you, I can show you. So this is the Don't Be Jelly and you can save this one and store things in it if you want to and it has like a foam on the inside and then here is the uni carton and it also comes with a plastic insert and look at how beautiful this is so just letting you know that this is how all the palettes come the don't be jelly palette does have a couple of multi-chromes in here and i'm trying to show you that in the swatches this palette does retail for 60 dollars, and like i said you can get 10 percent off when you use a code and the reason why this one is more expensive than some of the other ones we're going to be talking about is because of the multi-chromes they're very intense smooth you cannot miss that they're a multi-chrome. Let me just put it like that. And we will be using this palette today because this is the only palette of these that I haven't used. And even though the other palettes, they're reformulated, they're like a little bit different and they all like you will see swatch like a dream. And I love this brand so much. This is the newest palette that I haven't tried um, from before. I'm loving the color story of this one, by the way, with the blue and the green and the purple. And then there is almost like a neutral quadrant here in the middle big fan. Next palette is the first palette that I got from Unearthly and this is the lower palette and this same here comes with the same kind of pants now. This is a beautiful palette that has four mattes, very easy to combine with each other and five dual chromes. I always say if you have never tried Unearthly Cosmetics, start here because this is a colorful enough to appeal to someone who likes colors like me, neutral enough to appeal to someone who likes neutrals. The dual chromes are stunning. So many combos in here and such an easy approachable palette. The cost of this one is $35. And then we have another palette that's also leaning a little bit more on not the neutral side, but like maybe a little bit more uh, approachable. And this is the leather and lace. The leather and lace is $40 and you have nine mattes and three shimmers. And you have a little bit of a dual chrome, slight dual chrome action and these shimmers as well such a beautiful palette and again if you like colors this will be like a neutral palette for a color lover and this will be a colorful palette for a neutral lover so again this is a very approachable palette and i 
really, really do enjoy this one. I think it is a beautiful palette. Another palette that's also a little bit more on the approachable side is the Not Normal. That one hasn't had an overhaul yet though, so I would recommend either getting that one if you can on sale or waiting for the overhaul. This one is beautiful too. Now we're getting into the super colorful ones. This is the Dead of Night, and the Dead of Night is also $40, and this is just so bright, so colorful, so fun, but you also have some grays in here, so it's like cool toned heaven, and then this bright green and a teal and purple, super beautiful, and then you have a super beautiful duochrome in here as well, it's a purple to a blue. This is just a beautiful, dramatic, colorful, cool tone palette, and the last palette we're going to talk about is In the Night, and this one is a little eight pan palette, and this one is $28, and it has some beautiful mattes, six mattes and two shimmers, and these are just stunning, and same here, if you love cool tones, if you love dramatic looks, this will be your little babe, and I love how small and compact this one is now. I love smaller palettes like this, and I love that Unearthly Cosmetics is just offering different sized palettes, different kind of color stories, so that everyone can find something that will fit them. Now let's get into the low light single highlighters. There is a low light highlighter palette on the site as well. These are the single highlighters. There are two different formulas within this one. There is a glitter topper that is $15, and then there are the multi-chrome highlighters. There are 32. And these are very visible multi-chrome highlighters. Let me put this on. So this one is the Spectre. That's what it's called. It is the purple to a blue. And I don't have a highlighter on and I also have a matte blush. Ooh, that is so stunning. I've only used the two other highlighters, the multi-chrome highlighters on my cheeks. This is the first one I'm using, this purple one. And wow, that is very intense. I am really liking how that is looking. It's very like cool toned and beautiful. I don't usually do a cool tone highlighter, but since I'm doing a super dramatic look, I thought that could be good. The next thing I wanna talk about, and I have it like here just in a little basket, and these are the glosses. So the glosses are $12 each. Let me open this one that's open. I don't, I wanted to do a swatch video with this one, but honestly, Time got away from me, and look at this one. This is the orange one that's called Cest. It is like an orangey shimmer. They smell very like taffy, butterscotch, and the packaging is super cute with this little, it's like a snow globe with like glitters in them. The same as the satin liquid lipsticks, but this one instead of black packaging has the gray packaging. It's just a super fun and cute um, little packaging and they come in a little unicarton like this. I do have all the shades here and I do want at some point to do some kind of a swatch video or something, but I will be putting one of these on as soon as we zoom in. Maybe the green one. I, I do have a lip liner on today. I'm trying this new lip liner out that I bought from one size. It is uh, out of line. Out of line. It is a really pretty color, but maybe we'll put the green on top and see how that is. So this is the green one. It's called Moss. And I am so intrigued. Wow. It's definitely giving a little bit of a green hint but it's very much not unwearable. There we are. And you can see the highlighter a bit better as well. Okay, I put some eye primer on and I think I put on too much, but we're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna be using this one, this one, and this one in the crease, and I'm gonna be deepening up with sea urchin? Urchin? Is it urchin? Sea urchin. That's not what it's called in Swedish. So starting with the purple sea star out here, I am of course, using my own brushes from Cinch Beauty. This is my own, my own beauty brand. I decided that I wanted to create the brush set of my dreams that really can help you elevate your like blending game to give you something that is synthetic but still works like a natural bristle brush. And I'm working with the EO2 first and I'm gonna switch to the EO4 as soon as we get closer to the inner corner, and then I'm gonna deepen it up with the EO5. But that is spectacular. I cannot believe how beautiful that worked. Well, I can, because I really, like I said, love this brand. 
I'm actually going to be using a little bit with the EO4 that I talked about uh, under my eyes as well because I want to do the same. But like I really love Unearthly Cosmetics, so I mean I shouldn't be surprised, but like sometimes you're still like, wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. And now we're doing the blue lagoon. And I'm just gonna push that into the crease. When I try to make my colors, you know, super opaque and really like be where I want them to be, I do like small pushing circular motions. Don't swipe too much. Try to like really build it in, build it in, work it in. English, not my first language. Work it into the primer, and then I try with smaller, lighter motions to just soften the edges and blend it into the other colors. Okay, now I'm gonna use the sea foam, and I am gonna put that probably, I don't worry too much about this part. We're gonna put shimmers there, but I think I'm gonna put this on the inner part of the lid too as like a foundation for the brine. I don't know what brine is, this one, because I think that's a little bit more topperish, and I want to make sure it shows up this color. What is brine? Should I Google that? Holt. Oh, okay, salt water. Okay, brine water. What is brine water? Simple solution of water and salt. Okay. I had no idea about that. <laughs> Did not know. I think I'm gonna put this in my inner corners too. Wow, I'm really liking that. Is that not super cute? Even before the shimmers? She's cute. I'm gonna wait with the darkest one and I'm gonna put that on top of the shimmers because I'm gonna use that brine color and let me see, I know I cleaned, yeah. I cleaned an EO1, which is the one that I like to use with shimmers because I think that this one just picks up shimmers amazingly. And since I'm putting this on top of a matte and not on top of like the primer, I am gonna spray it. Wow, that is very cute. I think a lot of people are gonna do looks with this one with the multichromes so I thought maybe I'll do something a little bit different just so you can see what kind of options this palette is actually giving and I wish I could do more looks but honestly I mean you can hear my voice is a little crazy and I do have quite a lot of work this week like next week is gonna be a lot. Hold on to your panties. Okay, so I kind of want to do this one, the aquatic one. It is like a blue, you can see, like a purpley blue duochrome and whoop, I'm losing brushes. And I think if I put that one on the middle of the lid and then do the matte sea urchin to just like, um, to just like deepen this up. I think that's gonna be good. So we're doing the blue here. Oh yeah, that was a good choice. Might just push a little bit more blue in here as well so we don't lose it. And now with the small EO5, I'm doing the sea urchin and I am just gonna be deepening up my outer corner. Like something like this. I'm just gonna buff the edge. That looks incredible. You don't get to tell me that that doesn't look incredible. Wow, I think I'm gonna put white in my waterline and just finish this up and we can have just a final quick chat about these new unearthly goodies. Everything is on and I gotta say this is one of my favorite looks that I have done in a long time. I love the drama, I love the pop of color, I love the mix between the light and the dark and that's what really drew me in when I looked at this palette is that you have bright 
you have pastel, you have deep and grungy, you have a bunch of different things going on here. And I honestly think that these two together would probably make an amazing, nice, more, you can make it neutral leaning if you understand what I'm coming from. I just think that this palette has a lot of things that's really going for it. Plus it is the normal great unearthly cosmetics quality. And I'm so excited that she's even like working so hard towards making it even better. And I just, had no problems whatsoever with this palette. It was beautiful and I really love the other palettes as well. And I would recommend any of these that I've talked about in this video if there's a color story that seems up your alley. I really love the multi-chrome highlighters. I think they are stunning, high quality, super beautiful highlighters. If you were wanting to try a multi-chrome highlighter, this definitely could be the one. The glosses, I've tried them before from Unearthly. They are a very comfortable, balmy, a cushiony, high gloss shine glosses. Really, really like them. I haven't been able to try all the colors, but I have tried this formula from before and it is a very nice, comfortable, glossy formula. Not sticky, but also not like watery, disappears immediately. The only thing that's not necessarily for me is this highlighter that is the, the glittery one. I think it's the one that's called is it this one? No, hold. Is it this one? Yeah, the Twilight one. This is very sparkly. And I know there are people out there that really loves a highlighter like that. For me, I, I love a sparkly highlighter, but for one reason or another, this wasn't perfect for me. And the reason might be that it is a cool tone icy sparkle and I don't have a cool toned skin tone so for me I thought it looked a little vis too visibly sparkly on my skin but I have seen other people use it maybe they have more of a cooler skin tone that really really love something like this so for me this is the only thing that's not for me all the other things I really do enjoy oh and I forgot to tell you which things I bought myself I'm an absolute idiot but I will mark it down below I did buy the highlighters myself all of these highlighters I bought with my own money this one I got sent in PR and I also got sent all of the glosses in PR the other palettes uh, these four palettes the slight reformulation and most of all repackaging of these palettes the lure the dead of night the in the dark and the leather and lace these four I bought myself with my own money so I will say that this this video is like a 50 50 some I bought myself and some I got in PR I just told you in the beginning I was gonna tell you but I took my sweet time overall love the look really like this product gloss is super beautiful and I think the absolute star of the show is this palette because I am very impressed with this color story and how this one performs and the other palettes, I mean, I've loved them from before. So maybe this is the star of the show because it's new because looking at the other palettes, I do love those too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Also know that there will be another Unearthly Cosmetics video later this week. Now I'm gonna take the rest of the evening to rest my voice. And yeah, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow for my rankings video. Bye.